Master bless. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyters, the Deacons in Christ, and for all the clergy and lady, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, the present, for all those in public service, and for the armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this parish and city, and for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding, whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion, and grant to us and those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wondrous things. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, that they took us and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, he will delight exceedingly in his commandments. Save us, O Son of God, who were born of the Sing to you, Alleluia. This seed shall be mighty on earth. So, so. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Master and Lord our God, you've established in heaven the orders of hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter together with us, that we may serve and glorify your goodness. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Toda vida 
σώματα το Θεό πατορί παρθένον η δεσκιόφο ρίσασα με τα μάγων προσεχή νησάς με τα ποιμένων εδοξολόγησας η αγγέλου χρηματιστής η κέτευε Χριστόν τον Θεόν σωτήρετας ψυχάς Ιησού Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών, ανέτειλε το κόσμο το φως το της γνώσεως, εν αυτή γαρή της άστρης λατρεύοντες, υπό αστέρος εδιδάσκοντο, σε προσκυνή των ηλίων της δικαιοσύνης, και σε γινός κιν εξύψους ανατολή, Κύριε δόξασή. Together with our choir, please. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Holy God, you dwell among your saints, who are praised by the seraphim with the thrice holy hymn. Glorified by the cherubim, worshipped by all the heavenly powers, you have brought all things out of nothing in being. You have created man and woman to your image and likeness, to adorn with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the 
Let us be attentive. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. To you, O Lord, have I cried, O my God. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's second letter to Timothy. Let us attend. Timothy, my son, always be steady, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am ready on the point of being sacrificed. The time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Peace be to you. Arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Let us attend. beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who shall prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And there went out to him all the country of Judea and all the people of Jerusalem, and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. 
Now John was clothed with camel's hair and had a leather girdle around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the thong of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Peace be to you who proclaim the Holy Gospel. Wisdom and grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. <clears throat> no one bound by worldly desires and pleasures is worthy to approach to our near minister to you, the King of glory, to serve you as great and awesome even for the heavenly. Because of your ineffable, ineffable and immeasurable love for us, he became man without all choice, your change of service, our high priest, and Lord of all, who entrusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord, our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, and Lord of the seraphim, and the King of Israel. You are alone, are holy, and we dwell among your saints. You are alone, are good, and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from evil consciousness. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, the best of the grace of priests, that I may stand before your holy table. Celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. Do I come with bowed head and pray, do not turn your face away from me. Do reject me from among your children, and make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer these gifts for you, Christ, to our God, of the offering, the offering. The one who receives and is distributed unto you, we give glory together with your eternal Father and your own holy good and life creating spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity. Let us lay aside all the cares of this life, that we may receive the King of all, who is invisibly escorted by the angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. We mystically represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity. Let us lay aside all the cares of this life, so that we may receive the King of all, who is invisibly escorted by the angelic hosts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Come, let us worship God, our King, and bow down before Him. Come, let us worship and bow down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. You are our God. We know none other than you. We call upon your holy name. Come, all you faithful, let us worship the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to all the world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For enduring the cross for us, he has destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of eternal mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions, my sin is ever before you, against you only I sin, and I am not in your sight. I am found justified when you speak, and blameless when you are judged. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and sin. You shall purge me with this, but I shall be clean. You shall wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. You shall make me your sounds of joy and gladness, that the bones of true broken may rejoice. Turn your face from ice my sins, and blot all of my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart and a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and fill me with the The Lord, you shall open my lips, and my eyes shall be praised. Oh God, you will not despise. 
wise, do good in your good pleasure to Zion and let the walls of Jerusalem. to the holy places and bless the Lord always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Domnul Dumnezeu pentru împărăția sa, totdeauna acum și pururea și în vecii vecilor. Amen. May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Lord God, remember your priesthood and your diaconate in his kingdom oh, always now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Sacrifices of righteousness and shall fall upon your altar. Remember me, brother. May the Lord our God remember your. May the Lord your God remember your priesthood in His kingdom now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Pray for me, Holy Master. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And that self same Spirit can celebrate with us all the days of our lives. Remember me, Holy May Master. May the Lord our God remember your diaconate in His kingdom always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Mercy upon me, O oh God. Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, this holy house, and for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Amen. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. that is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For a Christian into our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord of God Almighty, you alone are holy, accept the sacrifice of praise and those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you. That your good and gracious spirit may abide with us with the gifts here presented and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Peace be with all. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Christ is in our midst. He was easy to the doors in wisdom let us be attentive i believe in one god father almighty creator of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god begotten of the father before all ages light of light true god of true god begotten not created of one essence with the father through whom all things were made who for us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffering was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, together the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, and one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace, a sacrifice of praise. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is, and it is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God, ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever, and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying, Together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broken, gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Remembering, therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second and glorious coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts, in all and for all. Das sagt uns son si prospero men, kata panda, ke via panda. Please bow your heads to the end of the next hymn. Once again, we offer you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us, and upon the gifts here presented. God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me, O Theos, Celeste, Dimita, Martoloque, Eleisone. God, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. Bless Master the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Bless Master the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Bless Master both the Holy Gifts. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So if they may be to those who partake of them, for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer you this spiritual worship without the shed. For those who are opposed in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit,
especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Savas. Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Grant that with one voice and one heart we glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints, <clears throat> let us again and again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our loving God was received them at his holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give 
us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pater imon, o endisuranis, agiastito tonamasu, el teto i vasiliasu, genithito to telimasu, o senurano ke epitis his, ton arton imon ton epiusion, dosim in simeron, ke afesem in ta oprimata imon, os ke mi safiem et splet simon, ke mi senegis mas spirasmon, alarise imas epoto toniru. Oti suest in i vasilia ke i dinamis ke i doxa, Tu patros ke tu yuk to yu pnev matos nin ke ai ke istu seonas to neonon. Irin i pasi. Tas ke pelasimon tu kiri o klino me. We give thanks to you, Invisible King, by your infinite power you have created all things, and by your great mercy you have brought everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, you guide here us from your dwelling place in the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father, and also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us, and let your pure body and your precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and thrust to all your people. God, be merciful. God, be merciful. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God, ta ahiatis ahis. Great pass of holy bread. The Lamb of God is broken, distributed, and the is for every never consumed. And he sanctifies those who partake of him. of your saints, always now and ever into the ages of ages. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body, and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins, and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment. In being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body, and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God, and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess to you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God.
and sisters in Christ, forgive me a sinner. Behold, I approach Christ, our Lord, King and God. To me, John, the unworthy priest, has given the most precious and holy body of our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. has given the most precious holy blood of our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please forgive me, dear Lord, the priest and sins have my sins and cleansing my transgressions. The Lord God, remember your priesthood in this kingdom always known to the ages of ages.
Good morning, Christ is born. It is good to have you all here this morning. A reminder again that our church school students do not have class today, so following the receiving of Holy Communion, we ask them to please to return with their families to their seats. And again, as the holy gifts are brought forward, we invite all who are Orthodox Christians who are prepared properly to receive the holy gifts to come forward. All others, we ask you to remain and come to the end of the service when we have the blessed bread to give to everybody, as well as to remain for the communion of our hospitality hour, the communion of fellowship. Thank you very much. With the fear of God, with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near.
O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Wash away, O oh Lord, by your holy blood the sins of those commemorated through the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Be exalted, O oh God, above the heavens, and may your glory be above all the earth. Blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, mortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in your right path, establish us firmly in your fear, guard our lives, and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them and return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of light. To you we give glory, thanksgiving and worship. To the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. One, two, three. Praise our God, you are the Father, who is born throughout the chapter, through the dispossession of the Father, through the hearts of joy and gladness, always now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Please join us as we offer memorial prayers today, 40 days for Joyce Contouris, also uh, Andrew and Peter Contouris, Lon Hildebrand, and Peter Valiant, five years. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes of old. You created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. But when I disobeyed your commandment, O Lord, you cast me down to the earth from where I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness and renew my original beauty. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. I am an image of your ineffable glory, though I bear the scars of my transgressions. On your creation, Master, take pity and cleanse me by your compassion. Grant me the homeland for which I long, and once again make me a citizen of paradise. Now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, gracious lady, who for the salvation of all gave birth to God in the flesh, and through whom the human race has found salvation. Through you, pure and blessed Theotokos, may we find paradise. Alleluia, 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 doxa sio Theos. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Saints, O Christ, give rest to the souls of your servants where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering, but only life everlasting. Στον δούλο σου τσότερα να φασόν 
Φιλάτων αυτά ει την μακαρία ζωή. Την παράση φιλάνθρωπε. In your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended into Hades, and loosened the pains of those who were chained. Grant rest also, Savior, to the souls of your servants. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great love, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the departed servants of God, Joyce, Andrew, Erasmus, Paniotis, and Paniotis, who have fallen asleep, and for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls where the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, and the forgiveness of their sins from Christ our mortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who have abolished the power of the devil and granted life to your world, give rest to the souls of your servants, Joyce, Andrew, Yerasimus, Panayotis, and Panayotis, who have fallen asleep. In a place of light, a place of repose, a place of refreshment where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and is sinless. You are alone without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. What is seen as this is Isuik and Apusis, Ton Kikimen, and Dulun Su, Joyce, Andreo, Yarasimo, Panayotis, Kipanayotis, Christeo, Theos, Simon, Kasitin, Dox, and Anapembo, Men, Sinto, and Apus, Patri, Keto Panagio, Kagatokas, Opios, of Nevmati, Nin Kai, Kes to Seonas, Toneonon. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servants, George, Andrew, Gerasimus, Panayotis, Panayotis, Christ our God, and to you we give glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. May your memory be eternal, dear brothers and sisters, you who are worthy of eternal blessings and eternal memory. Together, please. Please be seated.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Christ is born. In Luke 8, 39, the Lord commanded the man who he had just healed from demonic possession, go and declare all the things that the Lord has done for you. At the end of the year, I'm sure you've seen in television and in news and so many things, magazines, the year in retrospect, what has happened during the past year. Those are interesting sometimes. They have things that we've forgotten about from the beginning of the year. Many times they are sort of self-congratulatory of, look what we have done this year. Our company is boasting about what they have done. But in the life of the church, it really gets back to those words of Jesus. Go and declare what the Lord has done for you, because everything that we have from the beginning to the end in this holy house is made possible by the grace of God. No question about it. He uses the good talents and the generosity and the stewardship that you offer as parishioners, but it is all made possible by His holy will, by His strength, by your faith, by your love, and all that gets back to the message we have been bringing across for a number of weeks now, and that is your stewardship. But I'm going to put out there again so you don't kind of turn the other way. This is not about money. One more time. Stewardship really is all about love. Your love for God, you offering it, and His love for you and how He responds. So, we just celebrated. It is, it is the last day of our centennial year. Are we ready to kind of turn the page? I know I am. But it is a sense of great thanks and great accomplishment and great wonder. At the beginning of the year, it was wonder like, I wonder how we're going to get this all done. At the end of the year, it has been what a wonder and what a marvel God has done through all of your wonderful offerings and sacrifices and love. So in looking at this year, I think I, it would be a good opportunity to merge this all together the last few weeks and the last entire year and to say, let's take a look at what your stewardship has done by the grace of God in 2023. We did celebrate our centennial, and I think I shared this comment sometime during recent months. Speaking to another clergyman whose responsibility is, is to travel around with the hierarch, said to me, you know, there's a lot of 100th anniversaries going on in churches throughout this archdiocese right now, because a lot of them were founded about 100 years ago as the immigrants came over. This is the third thing is, you go to some of them, and they look back over the names and the accomplishments and the buildings and the whatever it is, all for the past hundred years. Why? Because there's not much to look forward to for the next hundred, because their ministries are shrinking, their communities are dying, and eventually they'll probably end up being caught up in this phenomenon that we've seen happen in the Roman Catholic Church, and it will probably be happening in ours, of parishes no longer being able to sustain themselves. You know, whether you can name a few around here, and there are many around the country. We at Holy Trinity Church said years ago, that will not be us. We committed to God to say, we will not remain a museum of orthodoxy. We will build a living temple to the Almighty God, which is what has happened here. So, we are not looking back over the hundred years right now. We did that this year. We are looking forward to the next hundred years. But that will be planted on the ministries that you have sustained through your stewardship. I'm not going to do all the talking about that today. I need some help. And I need help from the people who deserve to be recognized, and many others. I'm sorry I only have room for 12. There are so many others. but. Please come up here as I call you. Um, Mary Ann Stearns, somebody go get her. I think she went to set up the hospitality hour. Somebody go from the parish council, go grab Mary Ann, please, and bring her back here. Uh, Rick Pace, come on out here, please. 
Rick, come this way. Yes. Yep. And uh, do me a favor. Move this down there. Mike Criotis, come on up. Amy Armanius, please come forward. This is unrehearsed. None of these people have any idea why I'm calling them up. Marianne, come on. Yeah, you're, yeah that's good. Right here. Marianne there. Mike here. Amy here. Bill Fiedler, come forward, please. You all are gonna. You all are gonna give the sermon today. Rebecca Bordiano. Hmm. Everybody's trying to figure out. Let's see. Why am I next? What's the thread here? What's Joyce Athanasio? I saw her in the back on hospitality today. There, you, there she is. Come on up. Dan Tender, come on up. Dan, excuse me, Dan Tender. Dan, Dan, huh. Ten, sorry. Dan, come up here. Dan, oh, there's two Dan T's here. Dan T is our custodian. I'm so sorry. Uh, George Dickus. George, where are you? Ah, Jim Baloris, come on up. Anthony Boloris, if you could come up, please. Presbyter Becky, I need you. Presbyter Becky, where is she? No, not here. Okay, oh, okay, she is. Uh, George Mellis. All right, so hang on one second, please, and I will reveal the mystery as to exactly why you are up here. Ah, may I have, uh, may I have Connie Fries? Oh, excuse me, Connie Pistolis. Come for up. And you're going to be between Anthony and George. All right, so, wait a second. You had to be in the right order. Marianne's first. Um, you are, you are right after Bill, Mr. Fiedler. Yes. Then Joyce. And then Dan, and then George. Okay, so take a look at what's on the back of your sign, please, because we have the entire year of 2023 in retrospect, and you are going to tell us what happened in the month that you have August, September, October. You all have something to do with the month that's there. And George, you're getting 2024. All right, excuse me one second. Let me grab the microphone here. All right, so we're going to go back to January to the beginning of the year. And Mary Ann, who kicked off our year as Philopolis president with our first centennial event, which was the centennial uh, Vasilopita. Mary Ann? What I'd like you all to do is just kind of make sure you don't hold it in front of your face as you're reading, but I'd like you to go down the list of things that happened in the month that you have, and you have something to do with, with one of those things. All right, Marianne. Okay. Uh, for the Centennial Vasilopita, uh, meals provided. Oh, I'll read the whole thing. Yeah, the whole thing. Um, oh, yeah. read the whole read thing. Read the whole list. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, good and thing you have it big because I don't note. have my glasses. Make <laughs> Centennial Vasilopita with photos from previous years, arrival of iconographers, life under the scaffold. That's right. Remember, we worshipped under the scaffolding for months. Meals provided by parishioners, stewardship, um, realm. realm lunch, online pledging, homeless meals, outreach, and Goya basketball tournaments. A lot to start the year. Okay, let's go to February. All right, February, Lenten theme, the peace of Christ, hope and joy, Lenten, mini retreat, acolyte training. And acolyte training was by Rick and uh, formerly just Matthew, now Deacon Matthew. Youth Ministries, bag lunch outreach. Goya presented final payment of three-year C&C pledge. Sunday or of Orthodoxy. Lenten readings at services. Collected, they donated over $1,600 for area family whose home was destroyed by fire. Homeless meals outreach, Goya basketball tournaments. And we're only two months into it. So let's sort of make sure we keep them moving along here, okay. All right, March, Centennial promotional items launched. Iconographers completed their work. Volunteers cleaned the church, moved all 350 chairs back in. 
Holy Trinity Church featured in the Catholic Marini newspaper in Athens is an example of a beautiful traditional Byzantine church. Godparent and Godchild Sunday, festival cooking started in March. Wow. <laughs> Homeless meals ministry. And Mike is our outreach coordinator to coordinate all of those meals. We provided many during the course of the year. Amy. April, Visitation Ministry Pasca Gifts. And, and that is, by the way, a project from the Visitation Ministry that Amy has founded and continues to chair. Goya Palm Sunday Luncheon, Centennial All-Time Basketball Team Pitcher, Holy Friday Apitafio, Apitafio, all under 30, Young Men Caring, Huge Anastasi Celebration and Dinner. Okay, thank you, Bill. Uh, May Journey to Fullness Series, many have already converted, Cemetery Cleanup, memorial service and saturday of souls and as you all know bill is our cemetery chairman and has seen overseen that for quite a number of years uh continuing mother's day tea hosted by the goya graduation of six seniors festival cooking continuing <laughs> homeless meals ministry you're seeing some recurring themes that we continue to get involved in rebecca our goya president June, Greek dancers practice, outreach liturgy at St. Anthony Claritin, Philoptical Centennial Ornaments went on sale, bereavement ministry meeting, 100th anniversary Pentecost liturgy and photo, golf outing, Goya mission trip to St. Gregory Palamas, festival cooking, Joy Metropolis summer camp, Centennial feast day dance hosted by Philoptikos. I think Rebecca hit three or four of those because the dancing and Goya are president. Joyce? Second Vlahaki Scholarship Awarded, We Need to Do More, Hospitality Hour Open Table Sundays, Festival Cooking Done, Yay! Homeless <laughs> Meals Ministry, and Goya Metropolis Summer Camp Continued. And Joyce and a couple of others were spearheading that festival cooking. Dan, our, one of our festival chair people. August, Focus Backpack Program Collections and Blessing. Father John and Pres Becky 30th anniversary celebration. Thank you. And of course, festival opens. Festival opens. It all seems so easy. You just say festival opens. That's it, just right? <laughs> George. September, festival ends. Yay. Youth ministries kick off. Blessing of the animals. Centennial commemorative items were made available. My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3 dinner and premiere. The start of the church school year with many new staff members and the St. Nicodemus Prayer and Panera Men's Prayer Fellowship was resumed. And George attends that regularly with many other men, and George also, as our parish council president, had a lot to do with so much of what you're hearing today. Jimmy. October two, 2023, Church School Special Assembly Consecration Pre-Enactment, Youth Sunday, Choir and Church mu music, uh, Musician Sunday, Start of the Journey of Marriage Seminar for 23-24, Start of the Journey of Fullness Fall Series, Arrival of the woodworkers, completion of the church wood, meals provided by parishioners, ordination of Deacon Matthew, tonsuring of the alkalites. And Jim, along with Angie uh, Fitzpatrick, uh, oversaw the finances of that and started to write checks around that time, and some pretty big ones as well, because you provided the opportunities to do that to pay for all of this. Anthony Valouris, along with Alexandra, his wife, uh, even in the middle of delivering a new baby, managed to chair the uh, consecrate the centennial uh, uh, entire year. So, Anthony, November we had the consecration of Holy Trinity Church and the centennial gala, and the fall Goya retreat and the launch of the 2024 stewardship drive. Very good, Connie, our uh, Saint Spiridon Library uh, chairperson, as well as our bookstore manager. Hi, December 2023. Hope and Joy presents Drop and Shop. Goya Christmas Fireside Chat, Angel Tree Gifts for Children, over 100 gifts donated, Announcement of St. Spiridon Library Adult Section, Senior Christmas Luncheon, Centennial Christmas Pageant, also a record year for baptisms and chrismations, growth in membership and stewardship. Thank you, Connie. And Connie has uh, now provided as well, I'm trying to figure out how to refer to them. Adult books just doesn't sound right, but there are... <laughs> <laughs> there, there are many books for adults in our lending library now. They're, what's that? Grown-up Grown books. I like it. Thank you very much. And uh, that was what you made possible in 2023, plus so much more. I had to keep it brief for today. Let's ask our stewardship chairman, George Mellis, 
who has been working with the committee and myself on our drive, our climb up Holy Trinity Stewardship Independence Mountain, which by the way, has gone very well so far. Hope you're all on board soon. Let's see what's coming in 2024 when we get to Stewardship Independence. Coming in 2024, more outreach, more philanthropy, more hospitality, more youth ministry opportunities, more educational, inspirational events, more scholarships, more ways to connect and stay informed through Realm, new liturgy books, new website, and many more ways for every active member to find a place and every inactive member to, to become involved in meaningful ways in their life in Christ. Glory to God for all things. Using the words of St. John Chrysostom. So I personally want to offer my deep and personal pastoral and paternal thanks to all of you and to so many others here who were so involved in these things and others that weren't mentioned. Please don't think that anything that wasn't mentioned wasn't important. Every single offering of love you make to the church makes a difference in the life of the church and the people's lives who attend the church and those who are looking for a church as we have brought many of them in this year. So, I want to thank all of you and uh, don't usually end a sermon this way, but uh, I'd like to uh, ask you to offer your thanks to these people for everything that they have done. Thank you. And while, while we're giving thanks, of course we want to thank Father John, Presbyterian Becky, Father Radu, Deacon Matthew. Without your leadership and commitment, we wouldn't be here. So thank you so much. We love you. appreciate you. God bless you all. Thank you. We haven't really done the apologies yet, so please rise. Thank you. Let us pray. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Lord have mercy. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to Christ our God and a hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ our true God, who was born in a cave and laid in a manger for our salvation and who rose from the dead, have mercy on us and save us as a good, loving, and merciful God through the prayers of his most holy and pure mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the holy glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, the holy glorious apostles, the holy God-bearing fathers, the holy victorious martyrs of the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of Saint Melania, the younger, a nun of Rome, and the holy martyr and presbyter Zotikos of Rome, the patron saint of orphans, whose memories we celebrate this day, our father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy was celebrated, and of all the saints, the Efkondon Aion Pateronimon Kyrie Esu Christeo Theos, Eleison Kesosonimas. <clears throat> may the Holy Trinity bless and protect all of you, and may they bless Holy Trinity Church in the coming year and in the century to come. Amen. Please be seated. Our parish council is offering the tray. Thank you for your offerings for the ministries of Holy Trinity Church. And I also must say, as he's walking around the altar to finish his things, I did not include in that list one of the continuing ministries we have, and one of our most valuable, and it is Father Radu's excellent study, uh, Bible study, although this year he is doing his book, The Icon of the Kingdom of God, so please remember that as well. While the parish council is offering the tray, 
Just a few announcements, please. Again, we had the memorials today, and uh, that is for the Contouris family and uh, the Valiant family, and they are hosting the hospitality hour today, so please join them and offering them your greetings, and uh, may God rest the souls of your beloved loved ones. Uh, there is an announcement in here. Today is the last day for offering your 2023 contributions to get them counted in this year for taxes and so forth. So, I mean, honestly, we'll take the contributions anytime, but if you want it recorded for 2023, make sure it gets in today. Um, also, there are services coming up this week. So tomorrow morning, that's right, New Year's Day. Uh, there is, we'll begin the, the New Year's right. We oftentimes have this New Year's Eve, but we can't because New Year's Eve is on a Sunday, so it's not possible. Um, liturgically speaking. So tomorrow morning at St. George Chapel, 8.30 Orthros to 9.30 Divine Liturgy. On Friday, we have Friday and Saturday the services for Theophany, the Blessing of the Waters, Epiphany. So on Friday morning, we have the Royal Hours. That'll be here at the church. Also in the evening, a Vesperal Liturgy for Theophany with the Great Blessing of the Waters here at the church. And then Saturday again, we do those all three at the church. The um, Blessing of the Orthros and Liturgy for Theophany on the Feast and the Blessing of the Waters. We are starting up again this week with our ministries, some of the ones you heard about. So we have our Journey of Marriage on Tuesday and also Prayer in Panera. Men, if you can get yourself up in the morning, you will love this ministry. I should probably call somebody, one or two of the guys up here to tell you about it, but it's very simple. We offer our, our about 20 minutes of prayer here in the church. We go up to Panera. We just kind of discuss men's lives and our walk in the faith, and it's honestly uh, an informal and really valuable opportunity. Um, so those are going on this week. And the rest of the announcements are in here. Uh, tomorrow, uh, next Sunday, January 7th, correct? Yes. We do have our parish council installation and election of officers, and then the Vasilope to celebration. You are all invited to that. We will finish the liturgy. We will go into the grand room. We will have a sit-down breakfast, and we'll do the Vasilope to celebration in there. So we kind of do two things at once and enjoy the beginning of the year together. Uh, please read the bulletin for the rest of the announcements. God bless you all. Please take care of yourselves, especially this evening. Drive safely. Be responsible. And uh, God willing, we will see you all healthy and well for the beginning of a blessed new year here at Holy Trinity Church.